to find the degree of a polynomial, you have to look at its leading term. The leading term is the highest power of x when the polynomial is in standard form. Standard form means that everything is all multiplied out, just like in this first example. Factored form is when it's completely factored out. So in the first polynomial, the degree, the leading term, is x cubed because it has the highest power of x, and so the degree is 3. We're going to factor this polynomial now to see what it would look like in factored form. First, we're going to pull out the GCF, which is x, which leaves us x squared, plus 3x plus 2. And then we are going to factor this problem. Factors of x squared are x times x. Factors of 2 are 1 and 2. This one is not too bad, since we can only factor 2 in one way. And we're always trying to make the middle term. So these are plus signs. To check our work, you can multiply it back out. x squared plus 1x plus 2x plus 2. And that indeed does check with our original polynomial. So the factored form is going to be x, parenthesis, x plus 1, parenthesis, x plus 2. So if you're in factored form and you need to find the degree, you could actually multiply everything back together, and you will notice you have x times x times x in the end, which will give you x cubed. For more examples of standard form, in this problem, the degree, the leading term is x to the fourth because it has the highest power of x, so the degree is four. In this problem, the leading is seven because it's the highest power of x. And the third one, the leading term is actually in the middle, and so the hot degree is going to be 5 because the highest power of x is 5. These problems are not, these polynomials are not in standard form, so you would have to multiply them out to find the degree. So if you were to multiply these out, however, remember we're only looking for the leading coefficient, which is the highest power of x. So instead of multiplying out the entire polynomial, which will take a while, you can just look at the leading x's that you have. Right here, you have x times x, which is going to give you x squared, which is degree 2. If you will notice, you also have two factors. This is factored form, and there are one, two factors, giving you degree 2. In this problem, you have x times x times x, which gives us x cubed, so it's degree 3. But also notice there are three factors, one, two, and this x is also a factor. It's kind of like an x minus zero. You can think of it that way to make it a little more simple. This one again, x times x times x, which is x cubed. It's degree three, which also means it has three factors. And this problem, this one's a little more tricky. Since there's a square here, that means there's actually two of these. So you can rewrite this problem as x plus two, times x minus 5, times x minus 5, and now you have 1, 2, 3 factors. It's also degree 3 because it's x times x times x, or basically x squared times x, which gives us x cubed, which is degree 3. And this last one, we also have, again, an x squared times an x, which is x cubed, and that is also degree 3. Thanks, and have an awesome day.